Mary Tyson Lappin is one of the best female weightlifters in the world. She can hoist nearly 300 pounds over her head without breaking a sweat. Her climb to the top of her sport has been sudden and surprising. And it's not over yet because this summer she'll represent the United States on the sport's biggest stage, the Olympics. I love weightlifting because I love to compete. I love getting on stage. I love hearing people like cheer for me. I much rather would get on a stage and lift as much weight as I can than ever speak in front of anybody. I don't like getting in front of people when it comes to that, but if I have a heavy barbell on the ground and they want me to try to pick it up in front of a lot of people, I will do it. But first, what exactly is Olympic weightlifting? An Olympic weightlifting competition consists of two lifts. The first lift will be the snatch, and the snatch is gonna be lighter uh, because it's one movement from the ground to overhead and one continuous movement. They're gonna keep it real close to their body and then turn it over and catch it in a deep squat with their hands wide uh, overhead. They're gonna stand up, make sure they're under control, and then they'll drop the bar. And the second lift in a weightlifting competition is the clean and jerk. It's gonna be more weight first. Those athletes will pull it and then kind of jump under and catch it in what looks like a front squat. They'll stand it up and then they'll do a jerk uh, to drive it overhead in one motion. And then they recover their feet to parallel and drop the weight. At the end of a meet, your best snatch and your best clean and jerk uh, get added together, and that makes your total. Weightlifting is actually Mary's second athletic career. In her college years, she was an all-American shot putter at Indiana State University, and she placed ninth at the 2014 U.S. Championships. After she wrapped up her throwing career, she returned to her home state of Wisconsin and found a new passion when she took a coaching job at the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh. Oh, I loved coaching. I believe that's where I was supposed to be no matter what, and maybe that's where I end up back. I think I found out that I just love coaching in general. I don't think it matters necessarily the sport. Maybe if I coached like a youth soccer team, I'd still love that. But then in March of 2020, at the height of the COVID-19 lockdowns, Mary was furloughed. And I was scared for what was next, but at the same time, I was, I was kind of getting pretty serious into weightlifting. So I basically just used that four or five month period to be able to be a professional weightlifter. In a custom built weight room at the back of her garage and with her husband, Casey, racking her weights, Mary started to see serious improvement. I basically went all in and it went really well. I got really strong. My technique got better. When I got back from work, basically my husband and I talked about how that's probably what we need to figure out a way to make happen full time. She left her coaching job and started training in earnest. And in 2022, she and her husband moved to Bloomington, Indiana to be closer to her coach, champion weightlifter, Will Fleming. So I first heard about Mary, just like everybody hears about everything these days, is through Instagram. In 2019, at the American Open Championships in Salt Lake City, was really where everybody first kind of heard of Mary. At that meet, she clean and jerked the third most in the history of the United States, and the two women who were ahead of her were both Olympic bronze medalists. So to be in that company, people kind of stood up and noticed and realized, wow, she really has a shot. She may have had a shot, but it was anything but easy. For the better part of the last year and a half, she was locked in a tight back and forth with two-time Olympic bronze medalist, Sarah Robles. Only one woman from their weight class would make the Olympic team. In December, 2023, at the International Weightlifting Federation Grand Prix in Doha, Qatar, Mary finally topped Robles with combined lifts of 283 kilograms. That's 623 pounds. Robles dropped out in February of 2024. The whole thing with her, like she just is so good and she's done so good for so long. And she has so many meets under her belt and I don't, but just being able to kind of chase her and chase her and chase her is definitely what's made me better. Passing Robles allowed Mary to punch her ticket to the Olympic Games. 
And because Mary competes in the 87 kilo plus weight class, the heaviest female weight class, passing Robles gave Mary a very big, if somewhat unofficial, title. America's Strongest Woman. I think I feel a little differently than everyone else does about like being America's Strongest Woman just because like there are other sports, there are other like strength sports and whatnot. And I'm like, well, how do you really measure like if I'm stronger than somebody who's doing strongman or like powerlifting and whatnot? But technically, I've lifted the most weight out of anybody in weightlifting. So um, I guess technically, I'm like the strongest weightlifter. I think it's a cool title. I would never use it on myself, but people do, and that's fine with me. I just, you won't catch me calling myself that. Since she moved, Mary's been training at the Iron Pit Gym on the south side of Bloomington. Her husband Casey is still by her side, leaving work early on training days to lift her weights and her spirits. Just helping her and being her, being here with her, you know, when she's having a rough day or a good, even a good day, I'm here supporting her. I get a good workout. I lift a lot of weight every day. Can't really tell by looking at me, but I do. He loads my bar every day, just having him there. And then when I go home and I talk to him about training, it's a little bit easier because I'll be like, you know, that one lift that this happened and we can kind of talk about it a little bit. So I couldn't ask for a better partner for me to be able to be the best I can in the sport and really just do well in life. That was really good. Because of Mary's late start in the sport, at 33, she'll almost certainly be older than any of her competitors. China's Wen Wen Li, the current record holder and favorite for a second Olympic gold medal, is only 24. But Coach Will isn't concerned. You're here at the, finish. the fact that she came to it late, already had a career, she has a great husband and she has a really supportive family, those are like superpowers in weightlifting because a lot of times, you know, if you're younger, you don't know what you're gonna do for a career. As soon as Mary gets done lifting, she, ha she, could, she could do anything. She knows that, because she's already done it. She's been really successful. Certainly people would say, gosh, it would be nice if you started at this age, but I think Mary started at the perfect age for what she's gonna accomplish, and it's largely a benefit. Just exactly what Mary will accomplish is yet to be seen. But regardless of the outcome, she says she'll be ready for whatever comes next. When I'm done with Paris and I I don't know what's next. I don't know if we'll move back home. I don't know if we'll stay here. I don't know if I'll keep weightlifting. I haven't decided any of that yet. I got some time to figure it out, but that's kind of what I'm hoping is I can finish weightlifting and say, I did all I could and I did the best I could. And I think I'll be ready to be done when it's time. I'll know. <laughs>